Sudan is the last male of remaining known northern white rhinos in the world. As its name suggests, the rare species was first captured in Sudan, which together with DR Congo and Central Africa Republic used to be a natural habitat. Sudan had been kept in the zoo with another female Sunni and two females in Czech Republic since 1980s before being brought to the Kenyan Conservancy in 2009. Unfortunately, Sunni died last year October, which was followed by the death of another male in the US Zoo in December, bringing down the number of remaining northern white rhinos from seven to five, which includes now Sudan and two females in Olipegeta and another two females living separately in the zoos of the United States and Czech. Like the northern white rhino, a southern white one is a subspecies closely related to the northern but is less endangered. Both subspecies have wide mouth that the northern has hair along the edges of its ears. Moreover, the northern tends to be slightly less social than the southern and prefer a thicker bush while the southern likes to be in an open space. At 42, Sudan is too old to mate as the mammal usually has a life expectancy of 40 years in the wild and a little longer in captivity. The rest four females are also hardly to reproduce either because of old age or other physical reasons. The, the, the problem is that if you let a species diminish to such small numbers, uh, then it always becomes very difficult to recover that species. Sudan could die tomorrow. People noted the last hope to save the rare species from complete distinction will be artificial reproduction methods. One way is viral fertilization, that of taking off eggs and sperms of northern white rhinos and create an embryo which is then implanted into a female southern white rhino, hoping to get a northern white calf. There's also a way too, which will use some already stored semen of northern white rhinos around the world and crossbreed it with southern white females to get a hybrid. Now it's not perfect, but it's better than nothing, <laughs> because it helps us to preserve some of the genetic traits that occur in northern white rhinos that will allow us one day in the long-term future to reintroduce rhinos back into Central Africa. In this 90,000 acre of conservancy, Sudan has been kept in an enclosure for a year to avoid getting hurt when in fight with the other rhinos. Though guarded by armed rangers around the clock, the marmol horns had also been trimmed for fear of poaching. Poaching of rhinos across Africa still continues at a very high rate. So, you know, if we're not careful as a planet, what is happening now to the northern white rhinos will happen to many other species. Yeah.